Runk. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas and fellettes? Well, I used to. I, I do. I do not like when people do that. But, you know, um, it's what it is. Welcome to the, you know, it's like, look, I'm going to be in Charlotte. I'm going to be in Knoxville. I'm going to be in Little Rock, Arkansas, coming up here. Nashville, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Montreal, Hamilton. Um, and uh, and that's where I'm going to be coming up. So you can go to chrislea.com, get those tickets. Um, and then also, we've got beautiful uh, merch that you can go to chrislea.com. We got those pockets, stay deep. Tees and um, the pants that look absolutely gorgeous. We've got uh, the hoodie that is, uh, the pocket stay deep hoodie that are absolutely gorgeous. We've got grower die hoodies, two different styles, absolutely gorgeous, and a bunch of different life rips colorways. Go to chrislea.com for some absolutely gorgeous merch. Thank you very much. And without further ado, welcome to this week's episode of Congratulations. You know, I've been thinking, first of all, like, subscribe. We love it. Um, We love it, my babies. Uh, but yeah, dude, I've been thinking about it. I, look, here's the deal. I have I have to succumb to the family life and get, I, I think, well, I'm trying to, here's the deal, dude. I've got a car for, I've got my, my wife has a car, all right? And it's a, it's a great car and it's, it, well, it's an RS Q8, which is awesome. It's an awesome car. You know, I bought it. And was like, got a new car. And she's like, okay. She doesn't care. But she's the kind of person that doesn't understand what a, like, dude, we'll be at the, va like a valet. We could valet her car and then go back and get it. And she'll be like, is that my car? And it's not her car. And you're just like, <laughs> you're in it all every day. So like, and it's like, but she's like, well, it's black and it has the things on it. And you're just like, yeah, but it, you know what I mean? It's another four circles in the front. And also it's not your car. So, um, I got the car. It, it, she doesn't want to get the windows tinted. So it doesn't look as mean. It doesn't look as mean. I want it to be, it's all black. I want it to be mean, right? I want it to be mean. You start it up. It goes, rawr, rawr. and dude, I want it to be mean. She doesn't want it to be mean. She doesn't want to be tinted because I get it. My Cars are so tinted that it's crazy. You got to roll down the windows to pull out, right? Um. So. So I I I she doesn't get them tinted. So I you know. So she she wants. So we got the car. We got we don't have a lot of room in the driveway because we're in our house now. Whatever. This is not relatable to anybody in the world. But um. I'm still telling you because this is a cult. Congratulations, and we love it, and you listen, and we love you. Um, but yeah, we I, my, basically what I'm starting to just come around to. I need a minivan. That's it, dude. I need to get a minivan, and I've been on this minivan train, and I'm like, babe, let's get a minivan, and she's like, dude, I'm cool still, and I said, well, then what car? What you I, you still want to be cool, mom? What car do you even have? She has no idea, and it's like one of the, it's the most awesome car. RSQ8 is so dope. It's so ill. And she's like, hey, I still want to be cool, okay? What car do you have? She's got no idea. So I'm like, so let's get a minivan. And she's like, well, I'll say you could keep your car. We don't have the room, but we could park it on the street, whatever, you know? And she's like, well, let's look at minivans, dude. So we look at best minivan. Because, dude, here's the deal, man. I got an electric bike from Super 73, which, which is so cool. I took it out. And, dude, it's so cool that, like, I can't tell. I don't, it doesn't fit in any of, my, any of the cars. So, like, I'm like, I'm going to get a minivan for the car. But she thinks it's for the, I'm going to get a minivan for the electric bike. She thinks it's for the family. It is. I'm joking. But, you know, no one will ever know. It's inside my head, not yours. So, um, so I went, so I, we're looking at minivans and dude, the fucking Kia Carnival, 
one looks pretty dope. The Kia Carnival one looks pretty cool. And I think that's going to be the one, dude. And I have to look at them. I have to look at like, uh, what do you call it? Um, the different ones. Like they're, they're trying to, they're, people are like, oh, get the fucking Chrysler. Nah, Chrysler, nothing, dude. Chrysler, straight up nothing, dude. You ever seen Chrysler's with the wings in the front? No. That looks, that looks grandpa shit, dude. It didn't Chrysler make the PT Cruiser? Dude, my dad rented a PT Cruiser once and I go like this. Ah, dad, dude. Yo. No, he was, how old must have he, must he been? I don't know, but it was so bad. The PT Cruiser, oh my God. At that point, maybe worst car of all time. Severely, I mean, it's been trumped since then, but yo, the PT Cruiser, dude. Oh, it looks like, like, it's like a Dick Tracy style fucking, Dick Tracy on mushroom style thing. It's just so bad if you look it up. Some of you might not even know it. They made it for like three years. Um, Chrysler makes some fucking terrible cars, huh? Yeah, all good. Uh, make Chrysler get it together. Hey, you got Christ in the name. Make it way better. Okay. Um, Christ should be the best, right? Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get, I want to get a, I want to get a minivan, I think, but I want to black it out. That's the thing about me is whatever I get, I want to make it the illest version of it. I'm just like, dude, can we put a spoiler on the back of a fucking minivan? Let's get a, let's, I bet you can actually, I want the A team one is what the one I want. Dude, you know what? I'll get a I'll get a um a Kia Carnival. Is it Carnival or Carnival? Carnival? Ah, uh, whatever. Carnival. And I'm gonna put the I'm gonna paint it like the 18 ones. Just but myself. I'm, me and Calvin are gonna do it. Um anyway, it's a cool car. But it's still a minivan, and I get that. But it's like they're so convenient, dude. You got a break every now and then. You got two kids, you got a break, right? Maybe I should just only get the minivan and that's it. And just, we should just have one car. That would be fucking kind of ill. And just honestly put furniture in there. It, they're big, dude. Just kind of live in it. You know, you can straight up get minivans with like fucking honestly furniture in there. You could get them, first of all, optioned with seats that are like, you could either have them like six, seven or eight seats. And then you could have some seats like facing the other way. You could have a desk in there with like fucking sconces. And then there's one with a kitchenette. That I think Honda makes. It doesn't have a full, you know, thing like no garbage disposal, but you can pretty much just open the window and toss the, the chicken bones out. Um, so that's me about the the minivans. Saw the fucking best looking dude ever, like a few days ago. It was troublesome, dude. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. The guy was so good looking that I go like, this is how good looking the dude was. First of all, taller than me. Whoopsie daisy, right? Not my fault. I'm tall. I'm a tall drinker. Well, you know how tall I am. I'm 6'2". I'm, six, I'm almost 6'3". I might be 6'3". I'm 6'4 in heels. And so I'm 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 at Erewhon, which, by the way, I wouldn't have gone there if I knew. I had been going already. I didn't know it was nowhere backwards. And I, I've already spent like thousands of dollars at Erewhon now over the years. And it's like now it's nowhere backwards. And so I'm like all pissed off. I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have gotten any of your cute shit if I had known. And then they made fun of it in the show You. They did this, whatever it was there. It was called like something and it was backwards. It was a take on Erewhon. But I'm at Erewhon and dude, you know, there it's like hot chick city. It's like hot, it's a, it's a hot person city, you know? And I'm there and I walk in and I see this woman that's like, oh, wow. Hey, dude. Hey, I just wanted to be like, you know what? Hey, hey, pat her on the back. Go get him. Dude, you fi- you got it. You're so lucky. Hey, don't do anything extra. Just be. You got it. You won the genetic lottery. Don't do shit extra. You know what I mean? You don't have to do. Don't go get a law degree. You know, a lot of these hot chicks feel like they have to, like, you know, prove themselves. Why? Bro, if I could come back as a dumb fucking model, <laughs> like a like a like a 510. You know what I mean? Not even a tall one because they look weird in pictures, but like a 5'10 photogenic angular shaped V'd out dude with like a, maybe even a small cock. You don't know because I don't do nude stuff, but like super chiseled without even working out. And like when somebody says, what's up? I go like this. Hey, like that kind of dude, forget it. I'm dude. If I could come back as a dumb motherfucker, that's it. That's it. That's me, dude. 
just dumb as shit in a Gap ad with another older guy. You know what I'm talking about? That's me, man. Just come back dumb as shit. And I mean fucking straight up. Like, I can't say, I'm not going to say the word, but I, I don't mean like actually, but like almost to where I'm like one IQ thing above. You know what I'm saying, right? And uh, like to where I just go like, I, I don't, I don't really know to most stuff, right? No, this is how I describe stuff. Like, I'll be like, man, that's crazy. And they be what do you mean? And I say, you know, it's just like crazy. Like, that's the kind of guy I am. Like, so dumb, I can't even describe what I'm already talking about. I could talk about the thing I want to talk about, but I can't describe what I'm talking about. Like, those shoes are so dope. They're good for basketball players. What do you mean? You know, like, they're good for basketball players. Like, that's how I describe everything. That's the kind of dumb motherfucker I want to be. Worse than someone with Down syndrome. because Not that people with Down syndrome are bad, but worse than that, you know, smart wise, because at least people with Down syndrome, you go like, oh, well, they got, you know, they, they got Down syndrome. This guy doesn't have Down syndrome and he still doesn't know how to describe stuff. Anyway, dude, I'm getting in a lot of trouble with what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. I don't care at all, dude. But um, that's how, that's how I want to come back. One degree smarter than someone with down syndrome i you know i i'm trying to not do it but the bit is kind of just what it is and that's that's that dude like i put out uh, you know what i'm done i'm actually done because here's the deal on tiktok you know we go dummy viral on that shit like just stupid viral and uh i went i posted this clip this old clip from congratulations about italians and how they get mad and this fucking lady said to me where is it? Come on, where I'm finding it. Oh, I can't find it. She said, "Oh, basically what she did was she said, "Oh, where where you should Oh, here it is. Stop calling Italian Americans who have one relative long dead who visited Italy Italy once." By the way, is that a, that's not a, a, the whole sentence, right? Stop calling Italian Americans who have one relative long dead who visited Italy once. That's not a whole, that's not the whole thought. So I said, calling them what? Your sentence isn't finished. And she said, I had time today. It is. No Italian ever is called Vinny. In extremis, at least say Italo-Americans, but not Italian. And I wrote, no. And she said, uh, okay, fair enough. It's not you who has to deal with stereotypes coming from people that have nothing to do with you daily. Cheers. Yeah. I don't know anything about people fucking supposing shit on me. That That isn't true. And by the way, and then I wrote, yeah, I don't care. Sorry. Wouldn't have done that in 2018. Whoa, he was pushed. Don't push me, baby dude. He wouldn't have done that in 2018. He's pushed. Dude, so um, anyway... That's why I want to come back as a dumb motherfucker. So these chicks, they don't do, don't be doing anything. Just relax, man. Relax. Enjoy life. Get some fucking kombucha. You know what I mean? Get a nice hoodie and just snuggle up in your fucking cute pants, right? You know how they do it with the blankets? Or get those fucking sleeves that come over your palms. You know, like it's like you're cozy. Like you don't know it's cute, but you know it's cute, dude. Hey, what's up? And you're doing it like this and you're fucking, you know it, you know it's cute, dude. At a diner while I'm eating a breakfast burrito and you're just like this. You know what's up, man. The fuck out of here, right? But you don't know because the fucking sleeves are long over your palms. And you know what's up. You know you're activating it, man. Right? But you all, but you're being normal. But what? I'm just, yeah, you know what's up. But anyway, I obviously have some fucking issues. But it's like, dude. So I walk into Erewhon. And I see this, I mean, dude, if I, I mean, you know what she, who she was like? She was like a cast member of the God of gods of Egypt. Remember that fucking movie with, uh, <laughs> Nikolai from, uh, Game of Thrones and Gerard Butler. And she would be like a cast. Every, the chicks in that. Wowie, you know, and this woman is an arrow. And I walk in, I go, wowie. I just go, wowie, man. In my head, I just go, wowie. Excuse me. Uh, you know, the kind the kind of hot where you just, you see and you just go like this. Fuck. And you want to just clear a table of like glassware. Like you, like you literally like the fucking, uh, 
Like somebody killed your, your witness to the crime that you were about to fucking take to a case. We have no case now. That's how hot she was. And then I go and I order my two roasted salmons, you know how I do it, with a little bit of white rice and some greens. You know how I do it. And you know how I do it because I keep it lean, dude. I keep it lean. That's why my body looks like the current affair sh- fucking logo, right? Upside down, maybe. I don't know. I think it's a triangle. But upside down. You know what I'm talking about. And... um so I eat the roasted, I get the roasted salmon. I look over next to her, dude. I see this dude. He's about 6'5", long hair, long, like a beard, a little bit like an olive skin. Dude, this is how hot he was. He looked like he was a Native American, but he wasn't. Dude, you ever seen a white guy that looks Native American, but isn't? Ah, dude, we got to get out of here and pack it up. Hold on a second. We got to pack this up here. Let me get, get it going. Ah, shit. A guy walks into the club. He's Native American, but what? But not, though? You just think he is, and he's actually white, and he's 6'4". Four- hey, dude, we got it. You know what? Let's pack it up. Here. Yeah, we got to go, dude. The guy's here. He's going to get all, get all the chicks. Hey, let's pack it up. Here, take the bottles. Here, here. Let's go, dude. But Nelly's on. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But we're at the club and we still have vodka left. Leave it for him. It doesn't matter. He can get him. He can get the chicks. Great. He's here, dude. Fucking Turok is here. Awesome, dude. That's it. That That's for real. I swear to God. That's how. And I, I see the dude and I go, oh, well, okay. I get it. Uh, dude, I didn't even look at the girl again. I'm all eyes on the on the dude. This guy was so hot. I go like this. I lost. I lost. I lost. So uh, that's that's how hot the dude was. That the hot chick disappeared. She was like, she all of a sudden I saw the hot dude and she goes like this. I feel funny, Mister Stark. Dude, she's gone. I don't feel so good, Mister Stark. And then I look at this dude. He's the only one left. Um. So that's what's up. I took. I went to go pick up, um, my wife from the from the airport because I wanted to see her. I, she was like, "I'll just get a, car, a ride home." I was like, "Nah, dude. I want to see you. I want to see you as soon as you land. I'm gonna be there." But she was like, really wanted to see Calvin, and it was like she landed at nine thirty, and that's past his bedtime, you know. But I was like, Calvin, let's go. And he was like, you want to go to bed or you want to go pick up mommy with me? And he said, I don't go pick up mommy. So I put him in the back seat, drove him to the thing, right? William's sleeping at home. I didn't leave him alone. He, there was somebody there. And uh, and we're, get to, we're going to the airport and Calvin is just, he's such a good dude. He's not even like, f- not falling asleep. Dude, my favorite thing about a kid, about a little kid is you just, they will not admit they're tired. Dude, we, there were, it was 10 minutes to the airport. We were on the, it was like, must've been like, man, there was so much traffic, but it was like, her, she's at 930. I got there like 950, which is bad. I'm a bad, I'm bad. But, uh, I was so, I was apologetic and I felt bad, but I got, I was getting to the airport and Calvin was falling asleep. He was asleep. And I was just like, dude, buddy, are you tired? And he's, dude, he's literally like this. Like, dude, just admit it, man. You sure you're not tired? I'm not tired. Asleep. It's so cute, man. I uh, picked her up and he woke right up. It was so cute. And then we took him back. And uh, it's just a sweet moment, you know. Being a dad is the best thing ever. I know I always say that, but it is. Um, I don't know what I would do, though, if like my, my kid was old enough and he wanted to go to the Taylor Swift concert. I, I don't, dude, the, 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 you see these moms and shit that are there and the, and the kids are like asleep and the moms are there for the mom. And she's like, oh, I took my daughter. And it's like, dude, you went for you. You went for you. Why is it on Instagram if you took it for your daughter? Why is it on Instagram at all if you took it for if you went your if you took your son and your daughter there? And everyone has bad seats, by the way. I have not seen somebody at a Taylor Swift concert. I mean, I'm talking about everyone. I see big celebrities far away. It's like stay home, dude. If you're at a concert that far away, just stay home. You're almost at your house. These fucking concerts were so big. I mean, dude, it's going to be the highest grossing. She gave her drivers like $50 million. 
Like, she's just giving people bonuses out the wazoo. I love Taylor Swift, man. She just gives people bonuses out the wazoo. It's awesome. And she just played, like, 19 staple centers, and she just is like... I mean, bro, she's going to... She... Man. I mean, billions of dollars. She's going to be worth billions and billions of dollars. She's worth like 800 million now, which, but that's conservative. I mean, dude, she's definitely worth a billion dollars. This tour is going to grow so much. I, I feel I, I the, the line of merch was like longer than the line in Russia for bread in the eighties. It was unreal. I don't even know if that's a right uh, thing, but it, I think it is communism and all that. I have no idea, dude. Um, but yeah, Taylor Swift killing it. She made like 50, makes like 50 million on merch for 10 million on merch a night or something. And it's like, Jesus, I'm just going to sell Taylor Swift merch on my show. Honestly, that's what I'm going to do. Just her face, Taylor Swift tour. And under it, it says, this is, it says Chris D'Elia tour. <laughs> um, nah, but we clean up with the merch department. You can go get your merch at chrisdelia.com. You know what's up. I don't know what the fuck is up, though, by the way. I When did the Emmys come? Look, dude, I got to look this up. The nominations, when did they come out? They're out. No. They're out. And and it's the 75th Primetime Emmy Awards. And that, the, the interesting thing about that is nobody watches it, so that's good, right? Um, and terrible shows are nominated, terrible actors are nominated. <laughs> Uh, well, I shouldn't say terrible actors. It's it's popular actors and popular shows are, you know. Um, but, dude, do you know The Last of... Dude, the, I found this out. I put it on Instagram. I ranted about it a little bit. The Last of Us is nominated for 24 nominations. Dude, 24 nominations. Let's just... Don't look it up. Let's just go through them, okay? Now, look, I know you're listening to this. You're not in Hollywood. I'm not in Hollywood. I know about Hollywood, though. So let's just do this. 24 nominations for um, uh, Last of Us, okay? Let's let's go through it, all right? Best Actor. Let's say somebody's nominated for two Best Male Actors, two. Two female. Three. Five. That's five awards, okay? There you go. Uh, what else? Effects, right? Um, uh, cinematography. Script, um, uh, uh, that's all I got. Now I'm struggling already, and I have three different categories, and five of them were from Best Actor. Oh, Supporting Actor, Supporting Actor. There you go. That's 10. There's 14 left. What? Costume? Okay, 11. Editing? Okay, 12. There's 12 left. Makeup, 13. It's 11 left. Audio mix, 10 left. These are the bullshit ones. The fuck are they getting nominated? But spread the love. This is the thing about the popular shows. Spread the love. Then if it's like, dude. Dude. Then I found out that Succession is nominated for 27 awards. I didn't I I actually didn't even know there were 27 awards. I'm being fucking honest. What the fuck what are you nominated for? Best fucking uh teamster? See what I mean? Best fucking cleaning service after the show, the fucking after on set the g- people come and they What is it? This is so Hollywood is up its own ass. You can see my Instagram about it. Dude, it's so ridiculous. Dude, here here's the thing that it's Here's the thing that this is the best thing it got nominated for right here, right here. I, I, I'm done, dude. Outstanding contemporary hairstyling. Dude, you got nominated for running your fingers through some hair. 
Why are they? If you're not, you can be nominated for Emma or the Queen, where you got to fucking these people are in, doing their hair for eight hours. This is what they did to Pedro Pascual. They go like this: Hey, sit down. Let me see your hair. Uh, I'm not even bullshitting. This is what they do. Okay, yeah, it's good. You got your stuff in it. All right, cool. Go ahead, dude. Nominated? That's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. And they're getting nominated for this shit. And they're going to jack up their price. They're going to be like, oh, I got nominated for best contemporary hairstyling. Hey, dude, suck me off real quick. That's ridiculous. There should be a, a nomination for best chilling. Off, off camera. Best off camera work. Dude, this is so honestly crazy. There should be a cap, for real. A show should be able to be nominated for eight times. That's it. And remember, the back in the 90s, you'd be like, whoa, it got nominated 10 times? Dude, There, there's more shows now. Nominate the shit on BET. Nominate some Tubi shit. For real. Best commercial breaks. It's on. It, dude, it's crazy. And then what's the other one? The Wednesday one got nominated for. Dude, that show I have not seen. I know it sucks. And then they said beef was, I'm sure beef is good. I actually, beef looks real good. But dude, I drove past the billboard the other day. It said the greatest piece of art I've seen in decades. Hey, look at a fucking painting, asshole. Dude, what are you, what, what? This is Hollywood. This is Hollywood. Just all day long. Just, hey, I have a suck off meeting. I got to go. I'm doing a pitch. I got a pitch at 3.30 and then at 4.30 I have a fuck, I have a suck off meeting and then, uh, and then eight and then, uh, and then 5.30, I got a tongue in my anus meeting. The guy, yeah, it's a guy. He's a, he's hot, dude. He's a, he's a hot, hot shot Hollywood producer comes in and just tongues my anus for, for, uh, it's going to be a, probably a 45 minute meeting. Yeah. Crazy. And then I got drinks, uh, with some guys that are going to suck me off and then, uh, I got to go suck off a guy for dinner. So that's, that's it. That's Hollywood, dude. It's unbelievable, dude. Outstanding contemporary hairstyling. I the, the word contemporary just ruins it. Pedro Pascal got nominated for best comedy guest star in, in, when he hosted Saturday Night Live, you know? Guy wears shorts and a blazer. Look, he's fucking LeBron James. I guarantee you, Pedro Pascal will show up at the Emmys with a briefcase for no fucking reason. I, I'm telling you right now, he'll show up with a fucking, a low scoop neck shit, so low that you almost see his nipples, and a briefcase, dude. I swear to God. And a dress. I swear. A skirt. I swear to God. I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna, I don't know if he's gay or not or what, or LGBTQ or, you know, whatever the fuck. But it's like, dude... It is what it is, my babies. Um, I can't believe it. Hey, shout out to fucking... Well, this sounds like I'm like... You know, I almost did what that guy, uh, David Guetta did. With the... Uh, shout out to Martin Luther King Jr. or George Floyd. He ended racism. We're sorry for his family. Here we go. I have a dream. I can't breathe. Um, but uh, I was going to say shout out to Maui, which is so shitty. You know, everyone's dying and their historic town has got fucking exploded. And I'm just like, yo, shout out to Maui. But uh, my condolences to Maui. Uh, and it su it sucks. That's har harsh, right? Because it had a bunch of winds, and and then it started fires, and then Maui's just gone. And uh, it's a historic town, and a lot of the history is now gone. And that's bad. But let's look at the bright side, dude. At least you get to like, uh, you know, start new. Get you know, because a lot of those old places they don't have air conditioning. You can make some fucking top notch shit. You know what I mean? Like make straight up. Like it's hard to get the materials in, but make places that like Doctor Evil would live. Like, this is the thing about when historic towns get wiped out, bro, this is, thank God, and then you can also make shit crazy, crazy nice. Like, super clean and super, like, I mean, you can make the illest shit, you know?
You got people out there that are like, not, not, I don't mean Maui, but like different places like that happened. Like, oh, there's been a drought in, you know, Tucson for such a long time. We don't know what to do. Hey, start over. The art there is horrible. Now, I'm talking about Tucson. But Maui, yeah, my heart does go out to ma people in Maui. That really, that does suck. I, I think, I don't know if people lost their lives or what, but it's so tragic. It really is. Um, and we make jokes and we'd be silly, but, you know. That's sad. Dude, I uh, I feel bad. And then at Maui, even people, you, dude, it's going to hurt the tourism business so bad. I know that Maui, too, is like a huge tourism business. But, man, people are like, you know when Jason Momoa pops off? Jason Momoa is just like, dude, don't come. Don't go to Maui, man. Don't go. He said, don't go to Maui. And that made people want to fucking absolutely go to Maui. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but he said, don't go to Maui. Um, and you know, he means business and I still see chicks on their stories posting that they're on vacation in Maui in Hawaii and fucking just living it up. And that's absolutely un freaking believable. Read the room. It's town deaf. Best contemporary hairstyling. Most outstanding temporary ha contemporary hairstyling. So. I, and then also what's the deal with the, f so, so man, this is so funny, dude. Zuckerberg and Elon, it's like the fight, It I, their fight that is going to never happen, you know, it, it, I don't know if they know if they're in cahoots together, but dude, it's, first of all, it's so funny that they're just comment, com, they're just responding to each other on each other's platform. Like, dude, use the same one or just use one that you both don't have, that you both don't, like use OnlyFans. But uh, Zuck got upset for sure because he was like, I think we can all agree Elon isn't serious and it's time to move on. I offered a real date. Dana White offered to make this a legit competition for charity. Elon won't confirm a date. Then he says he needs surgery and now has to do a practice run in my backyard instead. If Elon ever gets serious about a real date, an official event, he knows how to reach me. Otherwise, time to move on. Now, this is my favorite part. I'm going to focus on competing with people who take the sport seriously. Guy... You do apps, okay? Hey, you fo what is, is it, 40, 45? Hey, guy, you type. And it's all good. Look, I don't know anything about Mark Zuckerberg except for this fight, and he made Facebook, okay? And I know probably less about Elon Musk. I don't even, I don't know shit about him. But guys, the, the taking this sport seriously is hilarious. You've done it how long? Two years in your fucking backyard? Oh, I got to see that fight. It's entertainment, dude. Do it in the Coliseum for real. So now, so he's going to move on and take the sport seriously. Great. And by the way, power to him, dude. I feel like Zuck is just the kind of crazy and go-getter and has that go-getter attitude that could like really kind of do some damage. Maybe if he started when he was really young. But, you know, he looks like he's in shape. God bless. Dude, Elon Musk writes, knock, knock, challenge accepted, open the door. Thought you might want some tea, so I brought the bags. I, I, you know, okay, you know, so dorky, but like, don't know really even what that means because there was no picture or company with it. But I guess that me, I guess he's responding to Zuck's Zuckerberg's thing, and they're gonna do a fight, and I can't wait, dude. It's gonna end so quickly, you know. They're gonna be gassed, and then they're. You know it's going to end? It's going to end by somebody slipping a little bit and the other guy falling because he got caught up in the slip and then somebody's going to punch somebody's orbital bone and it's going to crack and, and it's going to fucking, and they're going to have to get surgery on their orbital bone and the doctors come out and be like, lucky they didn't go blind, but they didn't. And then that's it. And it's going to be in the Coliseum, you know? <laughs> the Italian doctor is going to be like, oh, you almost went blind, but you didn't because he doesn't hit hard enough, right? Because you guys make apps. Um... Good thing that you guys are just app makers, yes? Otherwise, you could have maybe went blind, but you didn't because all you do is type. Um, <sighs> Entertainment is, is fucking bonkers. And then Trump keeps doubling down, and then the guy keeps getting indicted. Now he's getting indicted for the Georgia stuff, and he's just like, hey, bring it. I think Trump's just like, dude, I'm old enough to where maybe I'll die first before this shit happens, right? The guy keeps eating cheeseburgers and Cokes. He might. Um, but it's, it, you know, 
I mean, God damn, dude. They're really coming for him. I can't I can't wait to see what happens in 2024. And also, I just can't even believe I'm all here's what I do know. Here's I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm voting for Trump. I do know I'm not voting for Biden because of how he treated the fucking Cuomo shit. That dude was a bitch ass. That dude was a motherfucking bitch ass for for being a pussy when somebody said Cuomo kissed his kissed their cheek and now he can't be the fucking whatever he was mayor because he kissed someone's cheek and said oh wow you look good to a lady and then a fucking Biden little pussy ass was like oh you know what dude forget it I can't condone that bro you don't get the Delia vote no more and I'm not saying I'm voting for Trump I don't know who I'm voting for I may just not vote but Biden bro you're a pussy ass bitch for that I just get fucking taken out get him Get the guy in the blue shirt with the fucking dumb chains in the podcast. Get him. Um, he called him a bitch ass. He called the entertainment's crazy, dude. Sydney Sweetie's Spider Woman. Oh, thank God, dude. Sydney Sweetie's hot. All right, good. That's it. Yay, good. She's a good actress. Yay. This fucking Marvel shit's out of control, dude. Spider Woman. She's going to be Spider-Woman. In Sony... In, Sydney Sweeney is confirmed to be Spider-Woman in, so, in Sony's weird Marvel sub-universe. What does that even mean? Oh, the Venom thing. <sighs> Dude, there's too many fucking Spider-Mans, by the way. Stop! What about just regular spiders, dude? They must be in their feelings, right? So many movies about... Yeah, imagine being a spider nowadays, dude. Oh, this sucks. You got people... Talk about representation. Dude, we were barely in a bug's life. And now you got fucking... They're like, oh, they want... Dude, they want... You know, remember the Donald Glover thing? He was going to be Spider-Man. What about a spider? Um, anyway, dude, Sydney Sweeney's going to be Spider-Woman. Can't wait to see, can't wait to see that. Going to go dressed up as Spider-Woman and wait in line. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, she's going to do that. She said she was freaking out, of course. That's cute. That's cool. Loving it. I don't know. Marvel movies are the movies that they should be making because it's like the only movie that's fucking... It's only movies that are like fantastic and you can go see it in the theater and it's fucking ridiculous, but it's like, you know, what are you, you going to fucking go see? A movie with fucking, uh, what's her fucking name? Frances McDormand, you know, that boring shit where she's just wearing a fucking like a, a brown jacket with too many pockets on it and she's just roaming around and then she cries in two scenes for fuck's sake, dude, in a green room. You know what I'm talking about? You gonna go see that movie? Let's see what Taryn Manning had to say. I had to pull over because I'm just like, I don't want to like cause crashes because I'm just so rooted right now. So. <laughs> rooted? I'm just like, I don't want to like cause mad? crashes because I'm just so oh, high? rooted right now. So. <laughs> oh shit. So high. The laughter. The man that I've been messing with is a married man, and, a, and every night. Oh shit. Well, for about three nights in a row. I haven't seen this. Or even maybe there's yet. a night in between. I was licking his butthole. Dude, the the meme of the fucking white guy with the blonde hair. Nope. Because the the fucking radio in the background, dude. Wow. Fucking Neo moves up three spots to number two this weekend. Because <laughs> he liked it. And I didn't mind doing it. Because he liked it. I mean, you know, what does it mean? Like, you know, yeah. Does, I mean, that, does that bother? Does, is that weird? Yeah. And that well, is what demons do. Okay, you kinks your kink. Demons don't do it. Also, there's no demons. So let's move on.
hey, what's first of all, we are 41 seconds into this three minute and 30 video. What, where could this go? So I, we drove all the way down to Newport Beach today so I could buy him a boat. <laughs> I was so in love, so I thought, so I could buy this gentleman a boat. And I, and I brought cash to put a down payment down. Like, I really loved him. I was like, yes, yeah, like, we're into the same thing. Like, we're oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he's married. You were going to buy him a boat. I really loved him. And I was like, we're into the same thing. Does that mean eating his butthole? That's the thing? Well, that's not love, you know? Kinky, blah, blah, blah. And his wife, because he's married, and I feel so bad because... Not, not I, I can't stand her. Okay. <laughs> I can't stand her, her his wife. Because she wasn't even like, wait, what? You've been messing with my man? She said, you lunatic, you get out of my life or I'll, I'll get an RO on you. Well, she was mad, so <laughs> got to forgive her. No, for... I'll put your ass in jail. Anyway, so I've been licking your man's butthole for... Dude, the best anyways so of all time. Anyway, so I've been licking her man's butthole for some time. Weeks on end because he he likes it a lot, and I do it to him, and he comes to me, and it happens. Oh, <laughs> Jay Z. It's that's a lot. I know. Dude, her laugh is the Jay Z laugh right here. Come on, play it. It won't play it. Why won't the sound plan work? It just worked with this. I'm pissed. Great. I'm pissed. It just worked. Okay. I'm pissed. All good. Jay-Z's laugh goes like this. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot of information, but I'm the lunatic, right? Well, yeah. No, I'm just single. Very single. Right. And he came to me. So you this don't may be all made accuse up, though. me That's of the good being thing about a that. lunatic. But it's I'll tell up. you one thing, lady. You want to put me in jail? I'll put you in jail. In so jail for fast, what? Your head will be spinning. Don't you ever threaten me. Nice. I actually. And I will. I will show you how I do. I actually like this. Don't you ever threaten me. I when agree. your husband came to me to get his butthole licked. Dude, this is the most gangster don't shit. Don't you ever threaten me again, Leanne. This is gangster. You dumbass. And now I'm a turn man again. I cannot believe you. You've lost it. The, Not I. <laughs> oh, so she, Not oh, I. dude, she just been watching like so much tutors, you know? Not I. I brought your husband to Newport Beach. We drove all the way together. We had so much fun. He had his hand on my leg the whole time. Most of the time, finger banging me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie anymore okay. about, about it. Anymore. You no, know, I had no one to ruse on. And. And every time, like in his fingers, and you're to buy him a boat, to buy him a boat. This dude was and making out like a day bandit. We went on a boat. He's gonna have a boat the and boat get his buddy. Wants, and I was gonna buy it for him. He's gonna call the boat the buddy. He oh, messed dude. up. Can we paint buddy on the back? And you're coming after me? No, nah, ain't gonna happen, lady. Oh my! God. You made a huge Here's the thing. mistake. You made a huge mistake. She says in the name of. You're dusted. Dusted. I ain't scared of you. You should be scared of me. Well, I I hear you. Here's the thing about that is she didn't make anything any wor she didn't make anything worse for anybody but herself. Like she didn't even say the people. And I'm not saying she should, she shouldn't. You ate someone's butthole and their wife's mad. And that's honestly the end of that. That's really the end of that. You ate someone's butthole, the wife's mad. Well look, let bygones be bygones. You know what I mean? Like men, they keep fucking up, but also you ate a married man's butthole, so it's like you are gonna buy him a boat, so it's like, okay. You know, let's just kind of move on. Now what's happening is, you know, look, the wife got mad and she started yelling at you saying, fuck you and this, that, the other thing. Look, that's bad, but also let it go. Find another butthole to eat. You know what I mean? There's out, there's men out. There. Most, most men would let you eat their butthole. Uh, and I mean that. And I know probably a lot of you are like, no, not most men. Some men. It's a weird kink. Maybe it's not. Dude, I guarantee you, men can be talked into this shit for, by, by, a, by, a, by a woman. You know? You ever see men around sex? They go like this. Durr. Can I eat your butthole? What? No. Can I eat your butthole? N uh, no. Let me eat your butthole. What's it feel like? 
I don't know if it was good. People say it was good. Really? No. I mean, your butthole. All right. That's how it would be. You find another butthole to eat. Because at that point, it's not about the man. I understand it's about the man if you're going to give a BJ or sex. Of course it is because you want to be in love. But butthole, you're all back there and stuff. You're not even facing the guy. He could fart on you. It's just all disrespectful. It's not about the guy. It's about the kink. So just do that with any guy. You know? My heart goes out to Taryn Manning, though. I, I feel like she probably needs some help. Um, yeah, it's, you know. Anyway, the wife tried to get a restraining order um, against that, and that's okay. I guess. I don't know enough about that. I don't think it exists. I think she's just being silly. Let's just assume the best, right? Because I don't think that that's real. Oh man, I would love it. How about if the lady was like, "It was it's me, motherfucker. You ate my you ate my husband's butthole." Wait, hold on. Worst oh. home. Knock me down. Hello, goodbye. There you go. Knock me down. There you go. <laughs> no. Bye-bye. And then take a trot. Oh my, having, dude, a, 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 dom, a, a dominator in sex. This is a home run call. Ravello, oh. knock me down. Hello, goodbye. There you go. All the salutations. Down, there you go. Bye bye. And then take Borat. a trot. And, and then take a trot, dude. The fucking a king complex, dude. <laughs> this is the worst home run call. Wow, dude. Ravello, uh -oh. knock me down. Hello, goodbye. There you go. Knock me down. There you go. <laughs> knock me down. There you go. Just loves. Just this guy's kinked out, dude. This guy needs to get his butthole eaten by Taron Manning. Bye bye. And then take a trot. So drunk, you can tell by the way he says trot. Holy shit. Ravello, uh -oh. knock me down. Hello, goodbye. There you go. Knock me down. There you go. Bye bye. And then take a trot. Bro, that is incredible. Uh oh, there you go. Knock me down. There you go. And then take a trot. Wow, that was the best. Uh oh. Wow, this is worst home run calls part one. Dude, somebody said, sounds like a parrot left alone. That's a great dude. I wish I was an announcer. That's how I would do it, dude. That guy's inspiring. I love that guy. That's my favorite announcer. Long fly ball deep to center. Uh oh, there you go. Knock me down. Dude, what is knock? Why is he just saying country songs? These are all country songs. Dude, these are all fucking uh uh what's her name songs? The blonde. Oh, knock me down. Hello. Hello, goodbye. There you go. There you go. Knock me down. There you go. Knock me down. There bye you go. He, this is a country. Take a try. This is a country song, dude. All the lyrics to a country song. Here we go. Ravello, oh. knock me down. Knock me down. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. There we go. Knock me down. There we go. And then take and a then try. Take a try. You, that is a country song, dude. Reading something from Travis Tritt, dude. Uh, that's the best home run call I've ever heard in my life. Unfrinkin' believable. Unfrinkin' believable. Oh, dude. This is crazy that Tory Lane got fucking convicted, sentenced to 10 years for shooting Megan the Stallion's foot. Dude, honestly, you deserve three years for shooting someone's foot. I, who is going to disagree? Honestly, who, who who's going to disagree? Probably the foot is the most mistaken shot body part there is. Right? And wasn't he just doing a dance, dance, bitch, dance and shot? He probably didn't mean to. Ten years, bro? I I get it, but whoa, bro. I also if 
Both he shot both feet. Ooh. Well, now we're looking at some fucking hard time. Actually, I. You know what? This is me as the judge. Tory, I would love to give you only three years, but the truth is, it doesn't feel like an accident because you got both feet. So, ten years. Clank. Um. Both feet. Wow. Okay. Well, then it maybe wasn't an accident. But here's the deal, dude. If someone shot my feet, I wouldn't want them to go to jail for ten years. I might want him to do a year. For real. If you shoot my feet, if you shoot both feet, definitely at least a year. What do you guys think, honestly? How many years should you get for getting shot in the foot? And then how many years for shooting someone in both feet? You're still shooting a person, but it's like not a fatal shot. You didn't mean to. I don't know, man. Tough shit. Megan the Stallion is fucking dope, though. Remember when Tory Lanez got up and he was the same height? When he was sitting down, he stood up. He's like a five six, and he and he and he's got a bad hairline. But the thing is, it, it wouldn't be that bad if he was tall, right? If you're short and have a bad hairline, you're kind of fucked. But apparently, but he could spit them bars, right? I mean, he could really spit them bars, can he? Um, but wow, he got ten fucking years for shooting someone's foot, both feet. That sucks. What are you in here for? Shooting someone's feet. I'm going to fuck you now. I know. That's how that goes. Um, Crazy, dude. Sad. To, everything's sad. But the most sad thing is Bobby and Drake unfollowed each other. And I wish they didn't, honestly, just for the fucking, just for the culture, you know? We got to see what's up with that. Somebody get to the bottom of that. Uh, all right, look, well, no, let me actually do some, no, I'm not going to do any. Well, let me do some, uh, let me do some of these. Why not? Uh, deserve it scales. Here we go with the deserve it sales. A kid tries pressing me IRL, bro. When I travel on the 11th, I'm waiting for the day that a kid tries pressing me IRL, bro. When I travel oh. on the 11th, if you see me IRL, I genuinely want you to fight me, bro. Real shit, bro. I, this is a public announcement. Anyone who sees me IRL, I will give you a thousand dollars if you beat my ass, bro. Oh. No one's fucking touching me. I'm untouchable. Bitch. Hey, look whose shoes we got. Got his ass lacking. Come on, bro. You're, you're I'm taking a video right on your phone. You, you're kidding me. I'm not wearing bitch. I'm a this can't be real. It is. Oh, no. I want to do this. I'm waiting for the day that a kid tries pressing me IRL, bro. When I travel in the Hold on. He's just playing a video game talking like this. Oh, God. And he's saying IRL instead of in real life. Oh, no, dude. This is... Sir, you deserve this. This is the most deserved scale. I can't even believe this. Hold on. Let's if you see me IRL, I genuinely want you to fight me, bro. Real dude, he said genuinely. Bro, I, this is a public announcement. Anyone who sees me IRL, I will give you a thousand dollars if you beat my ass, bro. No one's fucking touching me. I'm untouchable. Bitch. Oh man, he meant it too. That's the he meant it, dude. While he was sitting there in that chair, playing fucking Gran Turismo. God damn it, dude. Hey, look whose shoes we got. That's that's the best part, dude. That they just it starts with, "Hey, look whose shoes we got." Like, dude, not even what the guy said. But so good. Got his ass lacking. Come on, bro. You taking a video right on your phone. I'm not wearing shit. I'm a Oh God. You a bitch, right? I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. Everything about that is so bad. See, people think this shit Buddy put a bounty on his own head. The reaction to that was justified in my book. Eh. Wow. And they kept their Crocs on, he said. Somebody said, damn, dude, that sucks. I feel I'm bad for... for the He's just a young kid, you know? Ah, oh, God, that's really annoying, though. God, I mean, you kind of want him to get at least smacked around a little bit. And then they, they took his panda fucking dunks. That is the most deserved scale that is not that funny that I, I can't have ever seen. That's a 10. Oh, my God. IRL, bro. Oh, this guy's, oh no, during the wind, he's going to hold on to an umbrella? Gone, he's gone. This is a video game. He's gone, dude. 
Oh, wow, you deserve it, bro. Let the fucking thing go. What is it with people when the wind comes, they hold on to the shit? Let go. IRL, bro. IRL, bro. A thousand dollars, dude. Who is that kid anyway? Do you even know? I mean, obviously he's a Twitch guy. When an adult, you... oh, bro, this one. This one's so funny. Bro, he flew out. He flew, I wish I knew what that last word was that she said. Dude, why did he fly out like a fucking... It, it, honestly, it looked like in the 80s when they use a dummy for this stuff. <laughs> bouncing. Bouncing. Dude, what is he wearing? Is it a cop? Oh, the guy's a cop, dude. Maybe the fucking perp jumped down that tube. Or no, maybe he was running after a perp and he jumped in a tube and then came out that one like it's mario brothers oh my god no there was a after this there was a 40 after this came out it went so viral there was a 45 minute line of adults to do this that's unreal dude irl bro it went viral and then people started doing it irl dude somebody said so violent for a short slide it is man Oh, actually, it's pretty. It's not that long. It's not that short. <laughs> Bro, how did this guy? How did this guy? Dude, how did this guy? I, he must be too heavy is the thing. It must be for kids. They must go down slower. Holy fucking shit, dude. That's so bad. Oh, God damn. All right, one more. Ugh. This guy's hyped before his match. He's hyped. He's going to be exhausted fighting. It's a UFC or whatever it is in Peru. What happened? He, he hurt his... He hurt himself jumping up and down? No. Oh. No. Oh my. Come on, dude. Oh, uh, he didn't want to fight, you know. So he lost. I guess he forfeit, right? What a fight for the other guy. Dude, we gotta watch the end of this. So what happens? Dude, the medic came. <laughs> <laughs> the medic came. This isn't really deserve it because he was just kind of excited about the fight, poor guy. Hold on. So he's jumping up and down. Oh, he fucked himself up. One jump. One jump, dude. Well, dude, it's probably better he didn't fight, you know? He would have really got fucked up. How much is he so? Because he's from Peru, he's just like, man, this was a blessing in so in, in, a blessing in, in disguise. You know, I could have been dead for this. You know, Jesus Christ made me come through. Jesus Christ came through for me because I would have died. Probably this one, you know. Oh, it's so bad. He got. Well, he was fucking excited, ready to go. Let's do one more. Oh, oh, this one is so funny. I've fucking seen this. Holy shit, dude. Did we do this one yet? Lady's car rolls away after getting out of the car to yell at the place. She gets out to yell at the uh, drive through people. Dude, she's like, get your car. I think we've already done this, but holy fuck, this is so funny. What an idiot. Dude, what, what a shot. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey, y'all come back. Manager. Dude. I. Oh my god, bro. This world is mad. She deserved it a 10. These are good ones. Wow, these are good ones. I felt real bad for the other one. I felt bad for the kid and then the guy who jumped and just broke his fucking kneecap, you know? Well, let's do one more. These are good. Do a, to do a perfect backflip. Oh, dude, he's in Vegas. No, he's not even. He's probably in Reno. Oh, dude, he did not do a backflip. Did he? Did a front fucking face smash. Ah, uh, ten, absolute ten. Ten, smashed his fucking nose. Fucked himself up so bad. 
Spencer, dude, get out! Is this Spe eleven? That's an eleven. He's Secu get security, dude. Wow, this is so awesome. He's got sunglasses on, dude. This is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. This guy's got sunglasses on. Holy fucking shit, this is unreal. This is unreal. He's got sunglasses on. He's standing on one of those fucking table, those top, high top table chairs. Tries to do a backflip, falls forward, breaks his sunglasses into his nose and mouth. Spencer, Spencer, what happened, bro? Listen. Dude. They're calling security, dude. Dude, that's on. What a. <laughs> Somebody said knowledge. If you are standing on a bar stool in a bar casino, in a bar and in a casino, there is nothing perfect about what will happen next. Oh man, that is a ten. <laughs> Smashed him up, good, huh? All right, well, guys, like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Um, that is it for this episode. If you want to watch the full episode. Uh, go on over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Chris um, and you can do that for just $6. Uh, and also, you get the extra uh, episode a month, and there's like 33, 34 episodes. So uh, we appreciate you, even if not. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, baby. <laughs>